question number three. Let's start with this problem. So what is this question saying? This question is saying the following. Consider the problem. The problem is this. You have to maximize this function. The function is x comma y. So this is my function f of x comma y and the function is x y. Okay. And I have to maximize this subject to the constraint which is that x plus y is equals to 2. So this is gx plus gx comma y is equals to c. This is the format. So this is my function. So now the first problem is use the Lagrange method and prove that x comma y, which is equals to 1 comma 1, solves the problem, which is the Lagrange problem, with lambda being equal to 1, right? So how do we frame this problem? First, we'll set up the Lagrange function. How do we do that? What will be my Lagrange function? It will be x y minus lambda x plus y minus 2 is equals like this. This is my function, right? Yes, ma'am. So what is my next step? I have to differentiate it with respect to x and put it equal to 0. I have to differentiate it with respect to y and put it equal to 0. And the other constraint will be x plus y is equals to 2, right? These are the three constraints that I have to consider. ठीक है? ये तीन constraints मुझे consider करनी है. तो अब what is the first problem? What is the first equation? What will I do? Partial derivative with respect to x. So x is variable, y is constant. So what do I get? Y and then minus lambda and that's all. Yes, right, and that should be equal to zero. Right, this is my first equation. What is my second equation? Y is variable, x is constant. So I will have x here, x minus lambda and y. So I will have lambda here, and that is also equal to zero. Right. And then what is my third equation? x plus y is equals to 2. Right? So, y is equals to lambda. x is equals to lambda. And x plus y is equals to 2. So, what can I do? If I put the value of x and y as lambda, lambda here, what do I get? 2 lambda is equals to 2. So what is the value of lambda? Lambda is equals to 1. And if lambda is equals to 1, what is the value of x? x is 1. What is the value of y? y is also 1. So what is the solution of all these necessary conditions? x comma y is equals to 1 comma 1 with lambda is equals to 1. Yes? Fine. Yes, ma'am. Right? So that is the first part of my problem. That using the Lagrange method prove that this solves the problem with lambda being equal to 1. So that is first part. Now what is the second part saying? Prove that. Now what is the second thing that you have to show? You have to show the following. Prove that 1 comma 1 does not maximize the Lagrange function which is this when you put lambda value 1. So what are they saying? They are saying ki jab aap lambda value 1 rakho ge na aur jo ye bhi, jo bhi function ban ke aayega ye function ka maximum value is not 1 1. This you have to prove, right? Because Lagrange function gives you the maximum of what? The maximum of this, right? Subject to this constraint it doesn't tell you what is happening with this function, right? Yes or no? Why yes. is Lagrange method working? Because it is telling me, it will tell you the max or mean value of this subject to this constraint. Lagrange method doesn't tell you anything about whether 
this function is getting maximized or not. So essentially, they are asking us to say, uh, show that this function, which is the Lagrange function, when you put lambda value 1, 1 comma 1 is not being, not maximizing this function. So let's see that. So what is my Lagrange function when lambda is equals to 1? So what is my Lagrange function? So it was what? x comma y minus lambda is 1 and then x plus y minus 2. This is my function, right? So what is this? This is x, y minus x minus y plus 2. This is Lagrange function. Yes. I have to show that to show that. 1 comma 1 is not the maximum. I have to show that 1 comma 1 is not the max. Right? So, if I can give an example of a point where the value is higher than 1 comma 1, I am done. So, tell me that, you know, So this value is 1, right? Yes or no? Yes, no. So when we put x value 1, y value 1, the value of Lagrange function is 1. Can this function take higher value than 1? Yes, put x as 0, y as 0. This function can take value 2, which is bigger than 1. Right? So I have values which are giving me even higher values of the L x comma y function. So that means this is not the maxima, right? L 0 comma 0 is 2, which is greater than L 1 comma 1. Hence, 1 comma 1 does not give me right yes or no Yes, ma'am. So, what does that tell me? Ki jo mera 1 comma 1 hai, wo is function ko, jab lambda value 1 hoti hai, to wo usko maximize nahi kar raha hai. Okay? So, hume pata hai ki Lagrange method jo hai, wo is function ko maximize karta hai. Subject to the budget constraint. It doesn't do anything about what is happening to this entire function, whether this is getting maximized at that point or not. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma that was the question. Okay, fine. All good so far? Ma'am? Ji. Ma'am, I have seen this answer that they have said that the Lagrangian function has a saddle point. So, how do we know that in chapter number 17 we will refer to it like we did there. So, for the saddle point, they will tell you that this is stationary. First of all, this will show you that the saddle point should also be stationary. But it will not be in the max or min category. No, ma'am, they just mentioned that 1 comma 1 is maximum hai. instead of saddle point. Hai. They just mentioned this. Haan. So, they won't tell you whatever is the mechanics behind that. So, if you show that it is saddle point, then what will you do? Stationary points, nikalogi, Lagrange functions, se jo bhi aate hai. Yes, ma'am. And then we have a criteria to categorize them, either local max, local min, or something like that. 
Yes, so we will use that. So we do ऐसे question exam में आ सकते हैं जहाँ पे हमें some previous semesters की knowledge apply करनी पड़ेगी. But that was not necessary here, right? Yes, ma'am. But ऐसा हो सकता है. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. This is good. Yes, ma'am. 